This lesson is a tutorial on some of the more advanced tools that are available to the LXI software. Recall that in the lesson on using basic tools, we covered how to use the select tool, the text tool, and how to draw simple shapes. In the last lesson, we learned how to cut a job and some of the options in the cut plot window and production manager. In this lesson, we will be using these same features so it is important that if you are not familiar with the basic tools and options that you cover the last two lessons before starting on this one. The design on the screen is the first size we'll be creating. So let's start by creating a new drawing. We'll click on the new button. In this design we won't worry about the page size since we will be demonstrating a technique later on. Let's start by displaying some toolbars that will be used extensively during this lesson. They are the Align Toolbar and the Group Toolbar. So we can right click next to the toolbar space above, click on Align, right click again, and then on Group. The first object we will create is the circle. We will do this by making a compound object. Let's grab the Oval tool, hold the Shift key down so that we can draw a perfect circle, and draw a circle by a click, hold, and drag action. Once the circle is created, we can look at its size in Design Central. It is currently 19.7 inches. Let's change the size to a rounded number of 20 inches. Next, we'll make a copy of the circle. We can first just click next to it, which will create the same size circle. Let's undo that. Click on the Select tool, and then click on the circle. We could click on the Edit pull-down menu and do a copy and paste, but there is an easier method by choosing Duplicate. Let's click on that. And it duplicates the object without having to copy and paste. For right now, let's turn the fills off. Now we can see the outline of both circles. With the duplicated circle still selected, let's reduce the size by 1 inch, making the circle 19 inches in diameter. With the Select tool still active, we can select both circles and align them by using the toolbar. Each Align button has an icon describing how it will align the objects. But if we are unsure, we can just hover the mouse over the buttons and a little description will pop out explaining what the button will do. We're looking for Align Both Centers, which is the second to the last button on the toolbar. Now that both circles are centered, let's take a look at what it looks like when we turn fills on. All we get is a big black circle. Let's make this a compound. Compounding an object lets you view overlapping objects exactly as they will appear after they are cut and weeded. In this case, it will use the inner circle as a whole without color and show both circles as one object. To compound objects, we can click on the Arrange pull-down menu, hover over Compound, click on Compound. But since we have a Compound button on the Group toolbar, we can just click on that. Now we have one object where the center circle acts as a whole. To show this, we have this blue rectangle that we can drag over. As you notice, once the rectangle is under the circles, we can see it within the center circle which is acting as a whole. Let's delete the rectangle and zoom to our page. Notice too that the circles are considered as one object. Let's click on it and move it around. And then back toward the center. Next, let's change the color to a light brown or beige color. Let's bring the fill and stroke editor closer to the middle. This is where both the fill and line color of an object can be selected. Since we are changing the fill, Let's click on the Color Palette pull-down menu, and as we scroll down the list, we currently don't have a beige color to select from. We can add to the library by clicking on Advanced. This brings up the Color Specs window. 
Here we can click on the Library tab. In this first area is the current library of colors. We need to add a beige color to this list. This is done by clicking on this vendor pull-down menu. Here we are given a list of vendors such as 3M, Arlon, Oracle, and others. The reason for this is because it will allow us to color the vinyl sign with actual manufactured vinyls and their colors. In this case, we will select Arlon. Choose the type, which in this case is Calon 2100. Scroll down the vinyl list until we reach Beige. Select it. Click Add, which will add it to the current library, and click OK. In the Stroke and Fill editor, if we click on the color list and scroll down, we can now find the beige. Before we select it, notice this color bar at the bottom. This is all the colors in the current library. Notice at the end is the beige color vinyl that we chose earlier. We can simply click on it, and the circle's colors are now beige. Since we are going to be using two other colors, let's grab those colors and place them in the library. Click on the Advanced button. Click on Library. Click on the Vendor pull-down menu. Select Arlon. Keep the type at Calon 2100. Scroll down the vinyl list until we find Burgundy. Click Add. Scroll around again and find a green. This medium green. Click Add. And click OK. Looking at the color bar at the bottom, we have the three added colors of beige, burgundy, and medium green.